upgrade your smartphone with Appalachian Wireless, get $300 off selected models. Capture memories, stream, and stay connected with the latest technology. Visit one of our stores or AppalachianWireless.com right now. The Floyd County Fiscal Court held their monthly meeting Wednesday, June 19th to discuss 911 and other issues within the county. During citizens' comment, several members of Amber Spradlin's family voiced their concerns about 911 and lack of information surrounding the center. Following their comments, Floyd County Judge Executive Robbie Williams discussed the court's plan of action. We are working on getting the data together, and we're going to be, be doing a presentation next month to the fiscal court with this data and information that we're getting. I have, at, at this point, we don't have and we have not made a decision as to what's going to happen, but we're still getting the, getting the information together. And we're going to be doing a presentation next month. Despite the lack of new information available, tensions appeared high between County Attorney Keith Bartley, who opposed the move of 911, and Judge Executive Robbie Williams. Keith, Keith, you, 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 are, you are out of order. The, 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 we have not acknowledged you, okay? I just want to clarify something that I said. That the mayor will know. Uh, the record. That's okay. Uh, you, you, if you wanted to get up to the podium like you did before as a citizen, I'd be more than happy to let you do that. Despite much of the community on board with moving the 911 center back to Kentucky State Police, Captain Grady Allen stated moving the center has improved fire response times. Since the, that time, we have never had an issue of not being answered or not having the services we needed rendered to us. Uh, they have been phenomenal with our guys and gals out there in the county and as far as we are concerned, that's where we want to stay. So that's why I'm here today is to say whatever we've got to do to fix the other issues, I hope that we can do that and move forward and keep it in the county because it's been phenomenal for the fire service. For further updates as this story develops, stay tuned to Mountaintop News. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.